as I come into your presence, past the gates of praise, into your sanctuary, till we're standing face to face. I look upon your countenance, see the fullness of your I can only bow down and say, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, our Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you, the lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are, you are, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. There is none like. else can touch my heart like you do. Oh, Jesus, no, 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 no. I can search for all eternity long and find there is none like you. Your mercy like a river wide and healing comes from your hands suffering children are safe in your arms oh a great pleasure to come your way. This is the Upside Down Show on CTTV. Now, did you feel the spirit when Manuel Bless was ministering? Yesterday, we are taking you to heaven and back. After this break, I'm going to be introducing our guest to you. Or let me say our guest, you know, because today we have some spirit-filled men of God in the house and they will be, I mean, giving us the unction. I mean, when you hear words like that, you know, the unction, the spirit, then you know that, yeah, we are before the presence of the Lord. 
This is the Upside Out Show. I'm Prima Edinyami. We'll be right back and then we give you a show. Welcome back. This is the Upside Down Show. And today we are talking to one man. You know, I've seen him on different platforms. I remember when he came um, to show what he can do in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. If you did not see that episode of What's Cooking with a Fiocco, maybe you should go back and check it out on City Tube. And then I was privileged enough, you know, to be in his church. That was on 31st night. And he comes across as somebody who doesn't really talk so much. But when he mounts the podium, when he holds the microphone and he starts, gosh, he is something else. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our guest for the day. The head pastor of Living Streets International, Reverend Ebenezer Murphy. <laughs> Reverend. Uh, Alex, can I get it? Yes, why not? <laughs> You're welcome and Happy New Year. Yeah, many happy Please. returns. And the way you were earlier on when you said, I said, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a story that you bring. Is that so? Oh, beautiful shoes. Wow. Should Did I, mom, mommy I, help you pick? Should I pick? Uh, well, as for me, my, I'm um, amputated. Anything you put on me, <laughs> I, it goes. So, Are you really looking good? Of course, yes, she chose for me. Nice. Yeah. Well, she's got uh, some taste and style. Well, happy New you. Year, Reverend. Many happy returns. Wow. And, uh, well, I was in church um, on 31st night. Oh, you, you did? Know? <laughs> yes, yes. I really enjoyed the service. And when I left, when I was going home, it gave me beautiful memories from growing up in Kumase and how a typical Kumase church felt like. And I was like, wow, I felt like home, being home. Okay. Yeah. How does it feel like, you know, seeing all of us there and you ministering to us, standing in front of us? How was it? Well, um, first of all, there are two considerations I, I always make when I'm going to church. And the first consideration is my my relationship with God, that's okay. the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So I go to church to, um, first of all, minister to God and also to be ministered to. Okay. So that, that's my first priority. Mm. And so you'll find out my ministry to him in my worship. Okay. And then, uh, like David, David said, uh, one thing have I desired and that I will do um, is that to dwell in I mean, to behold his beauty mm -hmm. and then to inquire in his temple. Wow. So first of all, our fellowship with the beauty of God, that is my worship. Mm -hmm. Then I would ask questions. Right. So my first point of call is uh, my relationship with him. And then after that, my ministry to others. Wow. So wow. It's, um, it's, it's a 90 degree mm. um, up comes to down, then horizontal. Right. Right. Now, uh, I, I don't know how it feels like, you know, to be a man of God. I think that growing up, of all the professions that I would consider, what I did not want to become, one was a policeman, one was a medical doctor, mm -hmm. and a pastor. You know, I don't know how it feels like, especially being a pastor here in Ghana. How well, is it? Uh, you, you're not alone. I mean, the last thing I wanted to be was to be a man of God. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I to be honest with you, um. Many, many years after, it was quite established that ministry was going to be my uh, pathway. Mm. I, I, I really didn't feel like that inclined. I mean, I go to places and there were, there'll be prophecies all throughout. I mean, I remember the late Jack Hayford uh, in Birmingham. Um, many, many other people, Andre Stoddard, Valerie mm. DiBastino. Um, uh, Reverend and Okagbozo, and all those people felt, well, I had a calling. And sometimes I'll go to church, I'm sitting at my own place, mm. and then they'll call me out and then speak. And um, it, it wasn't really a desire because mm -hmm. um, I was more interested in doing business yeah. rather than and, and earning money and then blessing the people of God rather than uh, taking this awesome responsibility upon mm. me. So... Um, I always tell people, some people are called, some people are chosen, and some people are arrested. Okay, so where so, do you fall? Number three, of course. Okay. <laughs> the, the, right. Jonah, the Jonah way. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, Jonah was called, and uh, God said, you know, you go. So Jonah was given a choice to either 
ride on top of the sea mm. or go under the sea. Yeah. And so, okay. yeah, he went under the sea. Yeah. And um, he landed at the place he was asked to go. Yeah, you get but, to the destination, whichever uh, uh, way. But you'll be smelling of fish food. <laughs> <laughs> right, now before we really zoom into yeah. ministry for you, let's mm -hmm. get to know you better. I mean, yeah. what we know is Reverend Marquis. I mean, as much as I can recollect is Reverend Marquis. I mean, you've been here all this while, you know, as a man yeah. of God. But le le let's know you beyond that. Growing up, who were your parents? Uh, how, how was life as a child? Well, I mean, I, my dad was uh, the late... Um, Mr. Vinizam Martin Marquay. In actual fact, uh, he was among the first people to introduce radio and TV um, oh, wow. to Ghana. So, yes, yeah, the first people who were trained in Canada. Interesting. Uh, bringing Ghana Broadcasting uh, TV. Mm. Uh, that was my dad. So, okay. some of the programs you see on TV, like Adult Education. Yes. And then the Agrimat and all those things, they were creations of my dad. And then Women and Children's yeah. programs. Um, okay. And he started with Radio Ghana and then... Mm. Uh, entered into TV. So uh, the first 10 TVs in Ghana were almost in my house. Oh, wow. Yeah. And That's then a I, big deal. Yeah, and then uh, my mom was um, uh, Mrs. Victoria Marquis. Okay. Uh, Kokai Marquis. And uh, uh, we were brought up in a... It was it was a... It wasn't a house of abundance. Mm. It was okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, God was looking after us and uh, we could see the blessings mm. in the area. We were... Uh, considered as you know, if not upper class, okay. you know, but um, not, not. I mean, you are talking of La, mm -hmm. not Laboni or yeah. cantonments or the, <laughs> uh, yeah. But I remember in our area, we we're just about five or six houses okay. in that particular area. Yeah.